so hello everybody welcome back to another video i'm volvi and today we're going to do another character preview model and this time it's gonna be riddle or i say matt riddle the original bro 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 no i don't want to be a matt riddle <laughs> so as you see he was a free character in the heavy hitters the mlc like maybe you're gonna see this video after uh, like this ml f heavy the mlc is over or i say maybe between in that so i don't know i'm gonna when i'm gonna upload this but whatever i'm gonna do you're gonna see it so as you see he is a modern era trickster and i'm very excited for him because like last time the tricksters they given for free was the roddy piper hall of fame after that, uh, Scopely didn't give us any uh, trickster for free. But after a very, very, very long time, there is a free trickster has come. Because uh, trickster as a free, if you are a free to play, you have a very big problems for the tricksters. Like even you have icons of WrestleMania characters, that which is very good. But you don't, you you don't have any uh, specific uh, modern era, or I say like. Uh, attitude era like better guys you don't have like there are some but they are not that evenly great so i would say riddle can be go on i think they should rename him as matt riddle because riddle just get his name back again wwe and now he's known as matt riddle so as you see he is a modern uh, trickster let's look at his card I don't know why they are giving him as B tier. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, the trainer bonus at 18,000 is bot gems to 50% more damage, which is kind of a really useful one. And uh, it kind of replaces Seamus basically, or uh, Trickster Seamus, because uh, he does 35% damage to the bot. Uh, but Riddle, uh, Matt Riddle, is going to do 50% damage to the bot, which is very good like he's gonna increase 15 percent extra damage from the bot gym so but you have to make him 18,000, which is which means you have to make him five five star silver he has a links with nxt and moderna okay i think this is a duplicate uh i'm really surprised that they bring it a link as nxt uh hit they didn't put him as a raw link but uh, I think the character what uh, Matt Riddle gets uh, is perform much well at NXT. Uh, if I if we compare as at uh, the main roster, we'd say because uh, in main roster he does for like RK Bro thing like he has with Randy Orton. So I think NXT link which is very good for Riddle and again modern era and doesn't have any specific gear. Uh, move sets he has a couple of moves it's just like uh odis he also has a couple of moves to go with and uh, i'm going to do some variations also with this like uh the unexpected variations also so that uh, we can see if he can uh, handle every single thing in this kind of level like whatever you're going to use in this kind of level he's it's going to work well uh, i'm not going to overkill him because uh, i'm going to save that thing at four star gold one when i'm going to make riddle preview at four star gold so i'm not going to do much overkill so whatever whatever uh, satisfying thing what i have i'm going to use that one so first move set we're going to look at the move set that you can do at two star for him it's going to be the floating bro 10 MP purple move finisher is 44.8k damage make 12 random gems into blue gems and pin the opponent the pro mission 8 MP purple move submission generate 14 random submission gems and do 15.2k damage for 3 turns while submission gems are on the gem board remaining sub gems turns into color turn gems and the spear 8 MP green move did 27.8k damage and choose 4 gems to make into purple gems really straightforward moves it trainers you have a couple of options to go with like you have many options right now so i'm going with steel to start with more greens and i'm using austin basically to do 50 percent damage uh instead of using steel you can use a uh, trickster xavier woods who 
you to start with more purple and plus he's gonna do five percent damage to the submission also that means i think it's gonna do like maybe 23k damage if i put austin and uh xavier woods aside so it will kind of, kind of do like 23k damage for per submission so which is very useful one but we're still doing 22k so you can use that uh if if you don't have to use a uh, Austin, then you can use a uh, NXT set to create more blues. Uh, you can also use a uh, Zombie Brock. I would say Zombie Brock is much better than the uh, uh, Austin to use it because Zombie Brock gonna increase the turns for uh, three turns. Plus he's gonna do f uh, I think 20 or 40 percent damage to the purple submission. So that way he's gonna increase the turns also and that way you're gonna he's gonna do more damage from the submission but since i don't have zombie proc i can't use it and even i don't have to use him because that would be overkill i would say so i'm not gonna use that one like even uh in the next mlc if i get zombie proc then probably i'm gonna use it on my rudo because <laughs> that's that's a very strong submission for in this kind of level <laughs> so yeah that's good i'm using hogan basically to do 2200 damage to all gems you can also use a uh, hall of fame eddie Guerrero to create one extra purple but we don't need much because uh if i say about the buff right now like uh after the heavy heaters the buff are going gone but since i'm recording this preview during the heavy heaters mlc so I'm gonna get plus two gem generation. That means the floating bro, which is making 12, is gonna make him 14, and the spear, which is making four, it's gonna make six of those. So that's gonna be a very useful one. And uh, like you can go with, uh, like if you want to go with the blue gem damage, you can go with the uh, RVD, Acrobat, or Brood Edge, also, they're gonna do 35% damage. Or if you want flat one, you can go with Striker Sasha. So she's gonna do 2200 damage. I don't have a strap for Mora Era Trickster, so uh, that's gonna be a very uh, problem. But that again, I would say that would be overkill because with these days, characters have much high damage right now in this uh, three star level. So let's go Jimmy Uso. Alright. I think it's uh, Sanders did in. Uh, or I say sleepers did in a <laughs> oh, float up. Okay, right now in S. Yeah, he he's not wearing his uh, sand or I say so uh, sneakers, whatever I have to say. Uh, so we are ready with the spear, so let's use that. Mm, I only need one match, so let's you do this like we pretty much need only one match mm. all right so you have two options to go with either you use the submission to like end of the match really frequently or you can use the finisher which is gonna lay down some more random gems for now i'm gonna use the submission because it's kind of very safe then uh, the finisher does even though both gonna end the match really easily and that's over <sighs> that works out pretty good <laughs> even though if you don't need the submission and if you need to use the finisher, that's still gonna end the match because uh, as a secondary trainer, you will put like uh, the blue gem damage guy. So that way is gonna be very, very strong with that. So let's go and use the other moveset for him. All right, so second moveset for Riddle, or I say Matt Riddle, original bro. The, we gonna use the completely different one. We put down the two other moves. Uh, instead of using the spear and bro mission, we're gonna using the floating bro 10 MP purple move finisher deals 44.8k damage, make 12 random gems into blue gems and pin the opponent. The arm catch hover at kick 6 MP blue move deal 25.2k damage and choose 3 gems to make into 1 turn countdown gem. That will deal 21.6k damage and make 8 random gems into color turn gems. The bro direct 
7 MP blue move deal 22.6k damage and make 15 color turn gems into purple gems. This is kind of a really recycling stops because uh, uh, the blues are making the purples and the finisher is making blue so you can kind of recycling but uh, the issue I a little issue I would say uh, we see that we are putting a one turn countdown gem that means we we gotta put that those countdown gems and we have to like swipe so we have to like end of our first turn and after that when the countdown gems we take off they're gonna put down 24 color turn gems on the board and then we're gonna make those into purple so uh, you're gonna not gonna end the match in the very first turn until and unless if you have a five match uh, and if we get an extra turn so yeah that way you can uh, end the match on the very first turn but since it's little more board dependent for that for that five match but but other than that you can do anything for, but it could be a work so we are using lolo to start with more blues i'm using zombie drew to create to do 2200 damage to purples you can also you can also use striker sasha again so you can do it for blues uh, exactly same but since we are making purples uh so we can use a to zombie drew you can also use a uh do you have seth rollins you can use the rock again to do they can all the one do 35 percent damage to purples uh you can also use uh like rvd and uh what's the name yeah edge you who's got blue gems gonna do 35 percent damage that will work also as well <sighs> like you have many or many more options to go with like um i don't know like you can use nxt set also to like create more blues also and i'm using hogan again to do 2200 damage to all gems it could be very much overkill with that. So let's use against Jimmy Uso. So here we are in the match. Alright, so we are in the match right now. So we are ready with our, all the moves. And I forgot to mention one more thing. You can use a Christian also. The Brood Christian to who's gonna do 30 38% damage to color turn gems. So that will also works as well. But uh since you are at three star and four star level, so I don't think so. There is a best option to use um Christian as a trainer for Riddle for now. Probably you can go for five star gold, like when you have five star or six star uh, riddle, uh then probably gonna do Christian would be much better than Zombie True. For now we're gonna use them. And here we have so let's put down some here. Mm, we have to sacrifice something. Let's use this. I know we're not gonna broke up with any of the countdown. Nope, we did it. Perfect. And we just eat his whole health. Uh, <laughs> we can end up anywhere else. Like, you don't even need the finish for that. But I'm gonna show you for the just animation purpose. There we have floating bro. Nef kind of in safe is really unique. So where is the match? Yeah, that works out pretty good. <laughs> so let's use another variation for him. Alright, third move set for Riddle Original Pro. Again, a small variation what we just saw. But instead of using the finisher, which is the floating bro, we're gonna use the submission, which is the pro mission. 8 MP purple move submission generate 14 random submission gems into 15.2k damage for 3 turns. While submission gems are on the gem board, remaining sub gems turns into color turn gems. Now, I've, I'm just keeping the trainers. I'm not keeping the Hogan again. Because uh, that would be very overkill. This is going very overkill. So I'm going with only trainers with this. With that. And I'm using the exactly same trainers. As Lola and Zombie Drew. Which is going to do 2200 damage to purple. So that way we're going to do 4000 damage to the purple gems. And again you can use uh, Jimmy Uso also. Who's gonna 
uh, who's gonna create one extra countdown gem, but you don't even need one extra countdown. And again, you can use water and Cena also to just create one extra countdown if you don't have Jimmy. All right. Yeah, here. So let's put down some of our countdown gems. Mm. You let's you get that. And that's that's nearly over I say. Mm, let's use the pro direct right now. <laughs> he just <laughs> you just catch him like he's gonna do the tombstone fire driver. <laughs> Good animation. I, I can li I like the animation for Bro Derek. Bro Derek, I mean. <laughs> but I think Bro, Bro Derek is his finisher or his floating Bro is finisher. I was really confused for his finisher also. Yeah. I don't know what is his finisher, but real finisher at WWE, not in the game. Like in the game, he's floating Bro. But in real WWE, probably is Pro Direct or Pro Mission or Floating Bro. I don't know whichever move setting. But yeah, that still works out pretty good. Like even you don't even need a submission also. So let's try something uh, unique right now. All right, last move set for Matt Riddle, original Bro at three star goal. Uh, I I try something unique basically, or I say something different, which is a uh, uh, I see can worked out, but I don't know. Let's I'm but I want to uh, figure it out So let's use the triple color. It's the pro mission 8 MP purple move submission generate 14 random submission gems and do 15.2k damage for three turns while submission gems or the gem board remaining sub gems turns into color turn gems the pro direct 7 MP Blue move deal 22.6k damage and make 15 color turn gems into purple gems and the spear 8 MP green move deal 27.8k damage and choose 4 gems to make into purple gems. So now this, uh, so like you use the spear, you can, you give your, uh, um, re reload your submission, then that, that's gonna convert into color turn, then the color turn is giving you the purple, so you can, you, you have a main, you have a main thing to like reload your submission as fast as you can. Uh, trainers, we, I'm going with double MP trainer this time. I'm using steel and lawler to start with more blue, blue and green respectively. Uh, you can also use like for Austin, but Austin is like red overkill and you're doing 45 45k damage, uh, to the submission total. So that's where still is gonna go with. So it wouldn't be overkill right now. All right, so we are ready with our moves. I just need one match only. No, that's gonna break down that. I'm gonna use there. I hope it's not gonna end my turn. It didn't perfect. Let's use that. And I hope if I put down uh, there, there should be some submission gems uh, that I can convert them into purples. Yeah, I do have some. Uh, this pussy kind of reminding me about Damien Priest. All right, so <laughs> yeah, let's use that. Yeah, this was a kind of reminding me of a team in priest. Like, he also put down those submission gems, and then you can use for the reinforced gems for that. Uh, but since these gems are converted into color turn gems, and color turn gems are gonna turn every single time. Like, after the, after your opponent's turn, when your turn comes, uh, they're gonna change it. So, even though they can cascade and end the, ma end the turn or 
they can end the match also so in this case they end the match so yeah this also works out really good so let's end up the video right now all right so yeah that is pretty much it for matt riddle original bro at three star gold definitely a very very strong character with that like uh i would say he is a very good trickster like uh if if you compare about like Piper Hall of Fame, like Piper is like more of defensive guy, but Riddle I would say he is more of the attacking one. So definitely I kind of like uh, this. Uh, he's I kind of like Riddle basically. So uh, I'm gonna upgrade him for my tricksters trickster thing because I don't have better tricksters with me. So I think Riddle can uh, fulfill that uh, full fulfill that thing basically. So. I think Riddle is perfect for my uh, roster and maybe for many of you also it could be a perfect choice also to upgrade him so yeah you can go with that and I think let's rank something with this because I think uh, many of you people not gonna use multiple moveset for him uh, I'm gonna rank some some of your movesets for you because uh, many of the people still confused like even we use as the movesets we show you the changes, we show you the uh, variations, we put down some, like many of the moves that we make. But still people very confused which move, one move set I'm going to use for him. So let's rank up someone because uh, like I show you four move sets for him. So let's rank all the fours. So the fourth rank which I'm going to least uh, <laughs> which is the least one which uh, I would definitely say don't use that one much and that's the last move set which I show you early on which is the uh, triple color one so I think that one is not that essentially useful so uh, yes but that still works well the move set still works well but I'm I would say like never gonna use that move set again so like right high three so you can use but high right is you don't so I'm gonna keep that number four. Number three, I'm gonna put down as a as a double blue and the submission one, which is the like arm catch over it cake pro Derek and the pro mission. I'm gonna put down as number three. Number two, I'm gonna put down with the double purple and the green, which is the floating bro bro mission and the spear. So I'm gonna rank that number two and the number one, I'm gonna pick it is the like my personal favorite moveset for riddle is let me show you what is it so so yeah as you see i'm gonna rank this moveset as my number one because uh there are some reasons for that first reason he has this moveset can do a very good recycling. Second, this moveset can do a very good damage with that. And, and like it's, uh, and third, uh, the countdown gems can do some damage purpose. So even though if, uh, if, uh, like your moveset move doesn't do that much damage, the countdown gem one can do some damage thing. So, uh, like they are like mainly two days and third is it's not that much violet but first reason is that he can do recycling stuff second he can do much high gem damage and move damage with that so yeah definitely i like this move set much better than the other move sets uh for the defensive one i would say definitely you can use pro mission and spear with that if you want to go with defensive if you want to go with attack you can go go with this move because it's a very good one at three star. At four star and five star, it would be a different story, but we're gonna see that uh, really slowly, slowly. So we'll see what is gonna be. So I think you all are clear right now which moves you have to use it. But like it's still your choice if you want to go with the moves which I show you, or you can you can go with your other variations also. So it's it's all your choice. So. We have, so let's end up the video so yeah thank you so much for watching guys if you didn't subscribe to our channel make sure you do subscribe to our channel because we post a video if you didn't like the video please leave a like and share if you have any comments or any questions to say feel free to ask me and see you in the next video till then be peace